Eliana Grookman is an amazing student. I had her last year in English and every time we had an assignment she was so thoughtful and so interested in the material and so careful with her work. When we did the Renaissance Fair, she came to me to work on her costume. And she wasn't just worried about it looking good and about it being cute, but she was really worried about it being accurate. And that just really, to me, says everything you need to know about Eliana, that she wants it to be not just to look good and to be right, but also to be accurate and to go above and beyond. Um, she's so sweet and I know she's gonna do an amazing job in high school and really get a chance to explore all of the deep thinking that she loves to do and just blow us all away. I'm honored to speak about Danielle Furziger. Danielle, you love learning. You are so excited to take in knowledge, to share knowledge, to clarify knowledge. I wish you continued Hatzlacha. I look forward to seeing you in the upper school, and I can't wait to ask more and more and more questions of you and answer more and more of your questions. It is my pleasure to speak about Eitan Lichtash. Eitan, he can catch you off guard, a little bit unassuming personality. You know, he has maturity, but he seems a little bit quiet. What you don't know about Eitan is that Eitan really is a person with a presence. You know, he has a take charge side to him, and he's willing to take responsibility for himself and for others, whether it's as Gabai, whether it's director of play. Eitan has a take charge personality, and you know, that together with his maturity, that with his always acting like a mensch, and his great Derek Heretz, I'm sure that he's going to accomplish great things as he moves forward up and out of middle school. Hatzlacha, Eitan. Hi, my name is Gvirat Elimelech, and I'm here to tell you why Elimelech Schreiber is a wonderful student at our school. Elimelech has the middle of kindness. I know this because whenever Elimelech walks into the class, his smile brightens the room, and he treats everyone with respect. The middle of kindness is important for being successful in life because Derech Eretz Kadmala Torah. Derech Eretz precedes Torah. Elimelech, you and I have something in common. Your first name is my last name. The name is composed of the words Eli, my God, and Melech, King. And you are definitely like the Prince of a ship. Much at Sahai in the upper school. I had the pleasure of teaching Avi Sobro in seventh grade on Kumash, and he was always very excited about the learning. Um, Avi is a great basketball player, a great cousin. He is someone who loves to help out, for example, the Avoda Hashem assemblies. And whenever I, <coughs> whenever I see him, he's always smiling, always happy to see me, and I'm always happy to see him as well. Avi, you're, you're going to do great in high school, keep up all the good work in all the different areas, and I hope to keep, see you again in the future. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pepper, and I've had the privilege of teaching Gabby in both 6th and 8th grade. Gabby is an observer. She hears and sees what is going on, but does not always comment on it. However, when she does have an opinion, it is thought out and adds much to whatever discussions we're having in class. One thing that really stuck out to me is how connected she is to her family and her heritage. When we did our Masora project, Gabby represented both how she felt about her family and the concepts we learned in class. She took a picture of her father handing her the Torah for her bat mitzvah and created it in such a way that when it folded, on one side you saw this picture and on the other side you saw the Jaina Misora. Gabby, your inspiration and connection inspire me. Your insight and deep connection to your family will help you be the next powerful link in your chain of Misora. I know you're going to do phenomenal in high school. Hatzlacha, and please come visit. Gitzel Fun is such a positive person. Every single time I see her, she has a bright smile on her face and something nice to say. She loves sharing something exciting that's going on in her life, and she always sees the positive side of things. Another wonderful thing about Gitzel is that every person she interacts with, she interacts with respectfully, she speaks to them kindly, no matter of their age, their capabilities, and that is something that's really, really exemplary. Gitzel, I wish you the best of luck in upper school and keep smiling. It has been a pleasure to teach Jenny Kagan in English class this year. My name is Mrs. Godfrey. Jenny has so much energy and an enthusiasm that is contagious. Jenny is the kind of student who walks into class each day with a great big hello. She asks questions, volunteers answers, and helps others. Jenny never leaves class without a great big thank you. Best wishes to you next year in upper school, Jenny. 
Hi everyone, I'm Rabbi Buxbaum and I had the pleasure of teaching Jonathan Mizrahi this year. Jonathan, you were such a wonderful, wonderful student. You came in every single day dressed to the nines, you looked great, you... and you sat down excited to learn with a smile on your face, always saying something nice, asking good questions, and really being a great, great Talmud, a great student. And my bracha to you is that you continue with your enthusiasm, continue to climb higher and higher, continue with a smile, with the positivity, and I know we're going to see great things from you one day. The word that comes to mind when I think of Maya August is Ratzo. Maya wants to accomplish and is constantly pushing herself to meet her goals. She's a great friend, a hardworking student, and a serious dancer. Maya's motivation and drive is sure to take her to great places, whether in this country or in Israel. Maya, we're going to miss you next year. Please stay in touch. Sam, you are always one of the first students to arrive at my class every single day, and you come with this big, bright smile. You're someone who cares so much about your fellow classmates, and it's wonderful for me to see. We'll miss you next year, but I hope that you will stay in touch. Hatzlacha Raba in all of your future endeavors, and I hope you come to visit very soon. Shira, most people know you are an amazing artist, and some people know you are an expert on all things having to do with animals. But I want everyone to know what a kind and considerate person you are. Shira, you're a good friend. You're willing to put other people's needs ahead of your own. While I understand you consider yourself to be an introvert, I want you to realize that we all very much enjoy when you share ideas in class, as they're often deep and they're always interesting. We will miss you next year when you're in upper school. Good luck. I'm excited to be able to talk about Yossi Deichman. I taught math to Yossi both in sixth grade and in eighth grade, and I've seen such a tremendous growth over his time in middle school. From a sixth grader who had to be continuously reminded to remember to bring things to class, to an eighth grader who takes independent responsibility for his learning, it's just amazing to literally watch him grow up. Yossi is a young man of many talents. I remember in sixth grade, he would create very intricate and complex architectural drawings during class, probably when he was supposed to be doing his math. But I remember being very impressed with his ability to visualize 3D creations in his mind and put them down on paper. This year his artwork has taken a different turn and he draws more conventional figures, but still very intricate and impressive. His work is definitely worthy of a museum wall. One big change I've seen in his time in middle school is his commitment to academics. Although he sometimes finds the work challenging, he doesn't give up and clearly wants to do well. He was also selected to participate in our Math Counts competition and I want to congratulate him on his performance on our team. I look forward to hearing about his achievements in the after school. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Yehuda. Yehuda is a cheerful and very respectful student. I have noticed that he has a special talent that allows him to grasp information very quickly, essentially when it comes to chemistry concepts. He gets excited every time we start something new. Keep learning and growing Yehuda. We'll miss you next year. Have a great summer and good luck in high school. Dear Tara, I don't usually use props in my videos, but this model of your great-grandfather and great-grandmother's house in Recklinghaus, Germany is the perfect metaphor for you. Your attention to details like this informs everything you do, from your sophisticated analysis of the literature that we read, to your creative art projects like this beautiful house here with its railings made out of twigs because you cared so much about showing the balcony that your mother had your great grandmother had to leap from in order to save herself all of these skills are going to serve you well in high school next year and i look forward to working with you again in the near future hi i'm miss graber and i'm here to talk about digital citizenship i mean rachel snow <laughs> I remember Rachel bounding into my office as a little sixth grade girl full of energy, light, and nonstop chatter. While small in size, she more than made up for that in volume. She also used to play a game where she would hide my things and I would have to look for them. Rachel still has a mischievous spirit, boundless energy, and lots to say, but she also has matured into the kind-hearted, respectful person we see here today. 
Rachel, you have many skills and talents that will take you far in life. You're creative, resourceful, thoughtful, and a good friend. It was always a pleasure to have you on the plays because you brought a lighthearted and fun attitude to the group. I also enjoyed our Friday lunch meetings and seeing your friendships grow and develop under your watchful care. I wish you the best of luck in upper school and beyond. Make sure to keep your fun spirit and love of games. I will miss you next year. Oh my gosh, the room just lit up. That's because Liat Rosemarin just came in. Her smile just lights up the room when she gets in. And even if she's not in the room, if you see her in the hall, she'll smile and say hello. And just you feel great when you see her. I'm sorry to say I did not teach her this year. I've had the pleasure of teaching her in sixth and seventh grade. I've also had the pleasure of watching her act in all the plays each year. I know she's going to do great in high school and I wish her a lot of luck.